to Hello Singapore. Yes. Uh, you, are, you have a very unique sense of humor and you're so accommodating to the fans. But um, what I want to know is, has any fans kind of pissed you off? Like, have you gone too far? You know, I mean, I was on a plane the other day and and I sat down on my seat and I'm, I have a baseball hat like this because a lot of, like, if you get on a plane, a lot of times what they do is while you're sitting there, they sort of walk by like this down the aisle and, <laughs> and you can tell they're doing it. And so I'm down here with a hat, I'm texting someone and uh, s- somebody came over and literally took their phone with the flash on and stuck it under the hat and goes, and I was like, boom, right? I was like, what the hell was that, right? And he goes, big fan, I'm a big, big fan. And I was like, I was like, that was so annoying. And he goes, what do you want? Like, you know, like, like you were in the zoo or something. And then uh, we get to Wi-Fi level and I pull out my little iPad and I turn it on and, and uh, somebody sends me a picture of the back of my head. And I'm looking at it and I'm going, wait, that's this play. And then, so I turn on to the girl, I go, nice picture. She goes, can I get another one? That one was... It, you know, I mean, because it's hard to say no, you know, and sometimes uh, you're just like, you're exhausted or you're with your family and you're like, I just, can I just shake your hand instead? And they, they'll, sometimes they'll, you know, they'll be upset. But, you, you know, everyone's got an iPhone, you know what I'm saying? It's very cool here, though, because in Singapore, it's different. They, the people stand away from you and they, they know it's you, yeah. but then, and then they will ask. Uh, and then, and then it's an invasion. I mean, it's your swarm. Yeah. Your swarm. But th- there is that. It seems to be that there's a politeness before that as well. Yeah. Whereas sometimes it is just that thing of feeling that you are in, in behind a sort of cage or something. When you guys are covered in blood and all that on um, set, so do you guys sometimes forget to wash it off when you go off set? And oh yeah. Leave? I ride a motorcycle home, so it's fun to ride the motorcycle home covered in blood. And people pull up next to you and then, you know, beep beep. I did, I I came, I I officially became sort of a a US driving license holder this year. And I'd just been doing the scene with, uh, where I'd had the seven bales of whatever beaten out of me by David Morrissey. Uh, And I still had so much blood all, all over me. And I went to do my driving test. And I thought I got rid of it. And then they took a picture of me, which is in my wallet, and I have blood all around my neck. And the woman was just like, it's a "Hard day at the office." Like this. And I was like, "Yeah, you don't, you don't know." So yeah, we do. We get caught a lot with blood. And there's so many bugs in the air in Georgia that, and it's so sticky the blood. So when you ride home on a motorcycle, by the time you get home, you just you have all this blood. You have millions of little dead bugs like stuck to your arms. It's yeah. It's very interesting. <laughs> what is the worst injury you've got from filming the, the series? I, I had stitches across my forehead right here, um, which I still have a scar for. Um, I'm not going to throw any names under the bus, but I, I got hurt. Um, which was crazy because that day, that happens, and then they rushed, rushed me to, I was so much blood all over my face, but they rushed me to the hospital, uh, and I already had blood all over me from being in the, a scene and dirt all over me. So when I came in the hospital, people were like, oh my God, you know? And then, then they gave me stitches, and then they took me back to set where um, two drivers were with me, one driving me, one driving my car back to my home because I got the day off after that. But um, when we left set, we came up over a hill, and came down the other side of this little hill and there was an 18-wheeler truck on the side of the road in a ditch and there was this old woman in the road going stop stop i think he had a heart attack he's pinned behind the wheel so while i have you know i'm kind of on meds a little bit and stuff and so i jumped out of the car that i was in climbed up the truck pulled this big sweaty truck driver out of his 18-wheeler and put him on the road and i was trying to get him to come to and then the ambulance finally came and was running and as they're running they go did i just take you to the hospital i was like it's not me it's him so he starts cutting off his shirt and doing all that stuff um and then cars started to stop and cameras came out and we took off but it was one of the weirdest did he survive the guy yeah i think so i'd imagine so but one of the weirdest days ever